I'm about to get on a train from Taipei to Zhongli because there's supposed to be this really awesome beef noodle soup place in Zhongli. I'm gonna go check it out. My friend and I are here at Zhongli and we're gonna go eat some noodle soup. And she's really, she's gonna take me on my first ride on a Taiwanese scooter. Exciting. Hey guys, this is my friend Yvonne and she's taking me to some of the best beef noodle soup places. Check this out. There are these two places over here, uh, Xinming and Yongchuan beef noodle soup. This is kind of like the Pass and Gino's of Philadelphia. They're right next to each other. And they're like, it's like a, it's like a turf war thing. They each got their own following. Some say one's been there first. Some say the other been there first. Some say one's better. Some say the other is better. We're gonna go and find out. This place is a lot different than the other two places I've been to. There are a lot of different things to choose from here. Everything from beef noodle soup to beef vermicelli. But of course, we're gonna stick with the beef noodle soup. Just like any famous institution, they got their wall of fame. So here are all the Taiwan celebrities that came and ate here. Of course, I really don't recognize anybody. Our noodles got here in literally two minutes. As you can see here, a bowl of beef noodle soup is only 110 Taiwan yuan. And I got my uber spicy, my friend got not spicy at all, so we're on two extremes here. All right, check out my big bowl of beef noodle soup. This is probably the biggest um, bowl I've had since I came to Taiwan. And this definitely has the most hot oil. Look at this thing, this thing is blood red. That's the way I like it. Here we go, we're gonna taste the soup. Oh, oh that's good. Mm. It's very beefy. <laughs> I'm coughing from the hot oil. That's a lot of hot oil. But this is really, really beefy. A really nice flavor in this broth. Let's try the noodles. Mm. The noodle is very al dente. It tastes very, very fresh. And check out this beef. This thing is just falling apart right now. See that? Oh. Mmm. Oh my god. Thanks for bringing me here. I'm afraid your mom's looking at me like I'm crazy, but that beef. Oh, I love it. With a nice lean piece of beef melts in your mouth. This thing, all you have to do with this beef is put it into your mouth and then use your tongue and press it onto the top of the roof of your mouth and it will just disintegrate into little beefy pieces. That's when you know this is legit. I'm gonna add some vinegar. Again, I don't see a lot of black vinegar being used um, in beef noodle soup in Taiwan. This is a really big bowl of noodles. They give you a lot of noodles. They give you massive chunks of beef. There's definitely a lot in here. There's only 110 uh, Taiwan yuan, which the last two places I went to, each bowl was around uh, 230, 240. So we're gonna feast here. Then I'm gonna take you guys next door and we're gonna go try their noodle soup and see who's is better. I bought this drink and I thought it was uh, sugar cane drink, but check it out, not sugar cane, asparagus, really? This is the first time in my life I'm drinking asparagus and it was not pleasant. Just wrapped up our Xinming beef noodle soup meal. Now we're going to its competitor, Yongchuan beef noodle soup. This place also has a very extensive menu, unlike the ones in Taipei. Got a little Lu Wei or marinated different kinds of meats and uh, tofus. So this noodle soup kind of looks like the other one mainly because um, they also give you the option of making it really spicy and of course I took it. And I got some little side dishes here as well. There is the noodle soup. It looks kind of like the other place. In the battle between these two places, I'm gonna have to give the soup to Yongchuan. Very fresh. Again, very al dente. A little thicker than the one next door. Very good. Oh, it's good noodle. Here's the beef uh, from Yongchuan, and it looks really tender because it looks like it's about to fall apart um, when I grabbed it with my chopstick. See that? See how easy that broke apart? That's amazing. Wow. This beef, this is really tender. Just like the one next door. Again, all you gotta do, put it into your mouth, squeeze, tongue, top of your mouth, falls apart. Oh. The 
flavor is amazing. That's really good flavor. Maybe it's the ramen influence, but I actually like a little egg with my noodle soup. Mmm. Whoa. That little time is so good. Wow. That flavor is definitely soaked in there all the way through to the yolk. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. Woo. That's really good. Bowl of noodle soup here. 110 Taiwan yuan, same as next door. So this type of cooking is referred to as lu, which means that they add a lot of soy sauce, which is why you see all the dark colors on the outside. And beside the soy sauce, they add a bunch of spices. And it penetrates all the way through because they cook it for a long time. So the egg, see that? On the outside, it looks dark. That's the coloring from the soy sauce. If you guys are over here, come to this place, get a bowl of noodle soup, and eat an egg. Oh, In the battle between the Taiwanese version of Pats and Gino's, Siming and Yongchuan, uh, I know, Yvonne, you like Siming. <laughs> you do. But I'm gonna have to go with Yongchuan. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have to go because I think the soup is tastier. Really? I think, yeah, I do. I think the beef, the tenderness, is about the same. It's about the same. But I have to give it to the soup. Also, that egg. You had the egg. You had the egg. You, yeah. you really like the egg. So I think with those things it sets it a little above the other but i feel like they're very similar like you said you mentioned to me like before we came here they, they kind of taste the same they do and you i appreciate you showing me these two places i would never have found them without you so thank you so much and thank you all for watching see you later